Okay, friends. Welcome all of you to this transformational meditation. The I just introduce myself. I am Rupesh, the QLU trainer, doing past life regression, family constellation, inner child healing, so many modalities. I learned from Dr. Newton and Dr. Lakshmi. So today's topic is joy and healing. The wisdom from one of a great master, Tokam Sarai Terrain. It's a really very interesting book, Joy and Healing. In 2019, Actually, this book helped me a lot just before the COVID period. So that's the time actually I read this book. It really inspires me. From that day onwards, I thought to do an online course or share this wisdom, share this amazing transformational tools this book is providing. So first of all, I am so grateful for QLU and all the Sankas for giving me this wonderful opportunity. So I like to share my gratitude to my masters and mentors, Dr. Newton and Dr. Lakshmi. Along with, I like to share my gratitude to Rajesha, Sri Devi Ma'am, and so many masters, so many friends. It's actually a journey from 2000, I think 10 or 11, associating with QLU and going through a lot of different programs. So feel so blessed to be the part of this amazing journey. So I hope all of you are ready. We can start this topic. Before starting, I like you to, for just two minutes, a silence come, an inward journey, just to observe our breath. So when you are ready, when you are not driving or anything, you can just close your eyes. Once you are driving, you can skip this part. Otherwise, you can close your eyes. The moment you are closing your eyes, completely allowing your whole attention towards your body, starting from your head all the way down and down, Feel like a wave of relaxation traveling all the way from your head, going down, 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 till it reaches the toes. Simply allowing quickly through head to forehead, through eyes and ears, nose, cheeks, lips, neck and throat area, all your upper body, shoulders, arms your spine, chest, abdomen, and down and down through your hip, buttocks, genitals, thighs, knees, calf muscles, ankles, and toes. Completely allowing to tuning in this moment. While tuning, connecting to your breath, just observe the breath, the breath which is coming to you, the breath which is staying with you, the breath which is leaving you and it is staying outside and again it's coming back. A cycle of breath. 
just observe. This is the first step towards the journey of joy. So observe with so much awareness. with each and every breath. Breath is an amazing tool which can bring deep joy. Because breath knows everything about us. Breath stores all the imprints. And it is very dynamic in nature. So it's so easy and effortless to observe that dancing of breath in the form of inhalation and exhalation. Tuning into that symphony of breath. Each and every moment we are observing the breath, it is like opening the petals of a flower it slowly and gradually, you become more and more aware. Aware about your own inner wisdom. It's slowly opening deeper layers of remembering. So the more you connect your breath, more you can understand the topic beyond the language, beyond the words beyond whatever I am sharing. You can understand it from a very deeper aspect which is coming to you in the form of intuitive energies. So last 30 more seconds, tune in with your breath and throughout the session, a part of your awareness completely allowing to be with your breath, observe the breath. Ten more seconds. And slowly and gradually, you can open in your eyes. In the journey towards joy, the first step is smile. So you can smile. Because there is always a saying, which is inspiring me is when you see a person in the street without a smile, give one. Because there is no, uh, no expense for that. And we always like someone smiling. We always feel, wow, good. So it's a very natural expression of joy. Okay. Through certain slides, we can go through this amazing book. There is a beautiful slide. Blessed are those who walk in the light of the wisdom of joy. Because more we connecting to the joy energy, this joy energy really help to awaken our own inner wisdom. So it's always a blessing to connecting to this joy, the science of joy. So in this book, actually, this author really expressing so many aspects, qualities, miracles, so many aspects he shared in a beautiful way. So this is the beautiful definition written in this book is, what is joy? So he mentioned that in Upanishad says that the self is joy. The God is infinite. But he given more details about the mechanism of joy. He mentioned it like the ray of bliss comes in contact with a highly organized mechanism. As we human being, we are highly organized mechanism. It expresses itself as joy. It's like some light touch and it is reflecting. 
so that joy is coming. It is this ray of joy that reveals the will and direction of the creator. This means that those who have joy, so when I have joy, those who live in joy, share their joy with others. Those who try to make people joyful have direction and the divine will operate in them, in the light of wisdom. This is something very inspiring actually. Because the moment we start walking through the path of joy, the divine will operating and we experience a lot of wisdom, the light of wisdom. So this is the word, this is that statement in 2019, inspire me like anything. Because this definition, because in this world, what I noticed is people is not fearing to be sad. Most of our fear to be joyful. We may think that, okay, we fear to be sad. We fear grief. We fear that. Mostly people fear joy. We'll share you why they fear joy. Joy is the energy. This is the one of the reasons of fear. Joy is an energy which transforms. Transformation happens. Transmutation can happen. Transfiguration can happen. Transfiguration means sometimes when we, a lot of times I experience when I go through QLU or attending a workshop with Dr. Newton and Dr. Lashmi, immediately some transfiguration happens. The first workshop I attend is breath work. That's called sacred breath. So there is some transfiguration because people start noticing some glow in our face, radiance in our eyes. That is called transfiguration. Transformation means we can change, change a form, but again, we can come back. But mostly we use this transformation and transmutation sometimes in a reverse way. Still, I, I don't know clearly exactly what is transmutation, transformation, but this is the definition it's mentioning. Because transmutation, when we think a caterpillar into a butterfly is a transmutation. It completely changes. It cannot reverse back. Same thing. This is the one of the reason people fear joy. Because joy can change you. And the most fear is fear of change. So joy has the power to change. Suppose you have an illness. When you joyfully go through that process and healing, illness may vanish. Disease may vanish. Some condition can vanish. We mostly cling on to our own condition and we feel like it is safe. It is secure because it is known. It is not unknown. So we fear unknown. So that's the reason people fear joy. Because sadness is something we know. How much its depth, how much it can go. It is very much we are aware about it. But joy we don't know. Because the another state of joy, it brings into ecstasy, bliss. It keep on moving in a different direction. So, dear friends, it is also safe. Joy is also safe because joy has its own wisdom. So, there are seven qualities of joy. And the first quality of joy is, joy is a regenerative energy. It has the ability to regenerate. Even a cell is, uh, has any problem in our body. Through this joy energy, it can it know how to repair this. It's a mechanic. So joy is called regenerate. It has the ability to regenerate. And another important quality is joy is a purifying energy. Joy is something which purify it's like a fire fire is an element which purify everything without affecting or without being impure so joy is also like an energy which is not affected suppose the moment the joy enters if we are sad joy cannot transform into sadness joy slowly and gradually shift sadness that's the reason some people really fear to allow the joy because when I am in a certain sadness, the joy comes, joy changes the sadness. 
I we see that in in small age, sometimes we are cutty with somebody. Some joy things come. We don't want to attend it because when we attend it, we change. We start smile. But sometimes to uh, hold on to something, we never allow this energy because it purified. Whatever the states, whatever the traumatic situation, whatever we call it as, oh, I am impure. I am impure with this certain situation because I am abused. That's why I'm impure. But understand, once we allowing that place, the joy energy, it purify those memories. That's the power of joy. That's the quality of joy. Another thing is joy disperses your inner cloud because in our mind, there are some inner clouds. There are some stuffs. There are certain things which is blocking the flow of thoughts, flow of energies. So the moment you are joyful, the moment you connected to a joyful energy, all that inner clouds go. So we can understand that it's like a sun which is entering through the clouds. But what happened when it is a darker cloud, immediately the joy energy comes, spontaneously you tears start rolling out. So it doesn't mean that oh, tears are rolling out means it is cry or it is sadness. No, it is the expression of joy. So many people share in joy, tears flowing out because it is dispersing those inner clouds. Joy is the life book of conqueror, means it has the ability to shift our past. It has the ability to really, we can moving beyond our past, ability to let go. So whatever we feel difficult to conquer, we can conquer it with the strength of this joy energy. And joy expands energy field. The more the joy comes, whatever the state of being, you are shrinked in your energy field because sadness is a space we are shrinked. But the joy comes, it slowly expands our consciousness, expand that field of energy. So that's an amazing quality of joy. Another thing is joy makes things unfold. It helps to be transparent. So when you are joyful, we uh, heard about the story of Archimedes. He is in the tub. The immediately there is no idea. He got the idea about uh, I forget about that thing. Uh, something he immediately got the idea. He feels so much joy. He start running through the street uh, without <laughs> even close because of that that unfolding nature, that transparency. When we are so much in joyful space, it is easy for us to open ourselves. That's a very important aspect of joy. Joy is a burning energy. It has the power to burn whatever which is not necessary for us. Burning means it has a deep potential to pull our soul energies, our potential energies, something our deep driving desire or dream inside, the moment the joy comes, it go to the depth and it pull out. Sometimes we uh, slowly isolated some of our dreams or desires because of certain fears, but the joy comes, it pull out. It has such immense power to pull out. Miracles of joy. Joy has almost 12 types of miracles. Joy is a state of being, beingness in which our consciousness is not conditioned by our environment or by the thoughts, emotions, activities going on in your environment. A moment of joy is a moment of unconditioned state of consciousness. So, the, so we can say the joy is an energy which makes us more unconditional. Every, every, we all have an unconditional heart, but due to certain circumstances, due to survival mode or some other uh, society or whatever, we create so many conditions inside our heart and make it more narrow. But the moment the joy comes, it has an openness. 
it really opened a sense of inclusiveness. That's an another miracle, means joy is a state of beingness in which no one and nothing can limit your love and sense of unity. We have such an ability to inclusiveness, include. That inclusion comes with joy. Joy is a state of beingness in which uh, the energies in our environment and all that is beautiful. We start experiencing all that beautiful. So there is uh, the thorn of life, whatever the thorn of life we are call it as, it cannot survive in the space of joy. Slowly and gradually, all that thorn will vanish because the joy comes. Recently, I watched a movie. In that movie, actually, that girl, that child, she lost her father. She is in some grief. But the moment she is traveling towards a hilly area, in that through journey, she's really enjoying everything because this is the potential of the joy energy. It, it never allows the thorns to enter. Joy is a state of beingness in which we attract force of inspiration, abundance, harmony, and vitality. Joy is a state of beingness in which we expand our consciousness towards higher and lower kingdoms, and there is a mutual contract. It's a, called the wisdom of mud and lotus. We realizing the wisdom about the lower and the higher. There is a communication comes. Joy is a state of beingness in which no feeling of separatism. So when we are in joy, we, we don't want separation. We always want inclusion. We always want togetherness. At the same moment, we accept solitude. That is called joy with loneliness is solitude. Joy is a state of beingness in which we feel that we are one with the oneself. Oneself is another name of oneself is in the scriptures called Ananta, the state that we come from a oneself. So we can understand every form is from this oneself. So this understanding can easily bringing out through the power of joy. So joy is a state of being in which we develop patience, perseverance, endurance, and changelessness of spirit. When we are joyful, when you observe the situations, when you are joyful, I see a lot of mother, when they are coming from the home, when they are in some sort of stress, there is no joy state. Even the child is dancing and enjoying they may say some negative words and it affect the child. But a mother is in such joy state, what, what that mother is going to do? Simply embracing that child. This is the potential ability of joy because we need to do everything before doing anything. Once we can connect to the energy of joy, it is very important. Joy is a state of being in which we develop an increasing sense of responsibility a sense of righteousness and a sense of practical involvement with life in general. So the practical abilities, when we are in joyful state, immediately we can connect to that practical sense because we are ready to go beyond our out of box. We are not in a limited space. We can go beyond that. Here the righteousness, because we think that righteousness is a state where we are hold on to our right. But here, the righteousness means hold the flower in the mind and encourage the seed to achieve perfection. So it is an encouragement of towards imagination also. We encourage that imagination. When we are joyful, we are ready to imagine. We see kids are joyful and they imagine, they play, they have so much patience. Joy is another state of being in which the treasury opens, the door, the hidden talents our precious memory, past wisdom, everything starts flowing to our conscious mind. We immediately remember old, certain good, amazing stories. Everything starts flowing because joy has a powerful effect on our memory, our positive memories. Joy is a state of being in which our physical, emotional, mental natures go, thought process, integration happens. It creates a communication Fluid.
joy is a state of being in which all evil currents inside whatever the evil currents because all, we all know that there is a part of ourself as god energy there is a part of self, self as devilish type of energy those energies exist good and bad exist inside so it has the potential to arrest or it has the potential to slowly dissolve dissolving our shadow self joy help us to dissolve our shadow self when we are in absence of joy we become a person of arrogance insensitive uncooperative stubborn mentally closed slow cunning narrowness laziness and unwilling to strive so these are the things which happen when we are in the absence of joy so this is an important statement in the bible called unless you become like children you will never enter the kingdom of god it is really mentioned about the power of joy because child when you see the first quality of a child is joy second quality of a child is gratitude third quality of a child is admiration so this joy brings gratitude when you are in joy you are ready to feel grateful to whatever is coming on your way and when you become more grateful we have a tendency to admire appreciation comes otherwise it's only a way of pleasing it's a superficial thing joy is not a superficial energy it's very deeper energy increasing joy can systematically wipe out barriers and restore the communication system between the brain and the treasury treasury means already inside our potential area potential memories remembering about our own potential things what we did sometimes there is no joy i see a lot of people when we talk about oh what are the positive things happen in your life they said nothing positive in my life but when we do certain sessions certain healing after some time say joy comes they immediately remember oh in that day my mother gave me that but keep on we are telling that mother my mother didn't give me anything my mother only scold me my mother controls me but the moment this joy comes we start saying about the good things what we experience from our mother what we experience from our society because that memory disk opens otherwise when we are in sad stage this memory never opens but the joy completely open the treasure memories our positive experiences this already i mentioned joy has a close relationship with memory increasing the joy increasing the memory whenever we feel okay i want to increase my memory the only way is increase our joy self so the moment i see people who are telling that my memory is losing i am not feeling the old memories i am completely feel i cannot remember things because there is no joy children they experience in the school times they share i can't remember something because when we only observe they are not feeling any joy in the life the moment they feel joy they start remembering everything because that remembering is coming from a deep appreciation admiration there is a master who shared with to me about an exam when i go for a yoga class a ttc course that person say there is an exam so we always wonder why this exam because all this period school college everywhere exam and again in ttc again exam we don't want to attend exam so that person shared that this exam is nothing but to appreciate whatever the knowledge we gain it's only a step you appreciate it once you appreciate it you can do that so it's such a wisdom he share about the power of joy greater contacts with higher world are fulfilled during times of intense joy this i always wondered because in the first time when i learned yoga and into that time only thing i know is to uh, give people that experience is to shavasana so when i ask them to shavasana relaxation keep on relaxing and relaxing and in each and every time we relax we simply allowing them to be joyful connecting to some joy memories so what happened lot of people in that time they share that oh i have some connection to that extra things or whatever the higher world they share that time i didn't 
correlate with this. At that time, I am not able to fulfill that dots because I don't understand how this happened because I am not uh, doing anything to connect them because now I am realizing it's a power of joy. As joy increases, we, it slowly and gradually opens our purpose of life. More and more our purpose of life becomes clear. So we don't need to be worried because when you are worrying about, a lot of people say, I really want to know my purpose of life. What is my purpose of life? By worrying to understand the purpose of life. So more we worry to know what is my purpose of life, more it go uh, deeper or digging inside. We need to go much deeper to find it. But rather than when we are becoming more joyful, this is one of the thing I uh, read from the Master Osho that celebrate. Every day you celebrate, you slowly and gradually become more and more clear about your own paths. He shared in one of his uh, one of his talk or anything. I read a previous time. But this is mentioned because more we are joyful, more we can understand our own purpose. Thoughts which is charged by joy can be creative. So whenever the thoughts, any ideas, which is filled with a joyful energy, we charged with the joyful energy, we become more creative. Or in other terms that whenever we feel like I'm, I'm not able to be creative before, we need to check, am I joyful inside? And we are not joyful inside. We don't feel to do anything creative. We simply want to do some things superficial. Superficial, only we search the superficial happiness. Joy and love campaigns in sexual relationship. The couple reaches ecstasy. Ecstasy is not a feeling or state of consciousness, but a moment of opening the aura into the intuitional plane from which comes a beam of bliss. These are all things I'm sharing is from this wonderful book. Every word he share is so amazing. So the moment we want to ecstasy again, the joy. So not only, not only in the sexual relationships, we can implement joy. For example, I experiment this joy energy while uh, washing the utensils. I experiment with that joy energy. Cleaning the uh, our home, we experiment with this joy energy because certain times we feel it is a responsibility. Then the it is really a heart. But when we implement uh, a joy energy and doing it, so what is this joy energy? Really, we bring a lot of attention and awareness. Then inside we do it. Something from inside we are doing it. Anything, any job. Even when you are eating a food, when you are joyful, because this is a thing which I uh, saw when I am a child, by my grandfather, every night he is having wheat dosha, every night. So I wonder, because that times we want all the time variety and variety and variety. And I wonder, one day I asked, what is the, how you can eat same dosha every day? Because he said, I am eating with so much joy. I'm eating with so much uh, awareness. That time I didn't understand. But for the last one month, every day morning, what I'm eating is Italy. But every day I am enjoying the Italy. So that time I understand, oh, it's because joy, because I am putting joy. I didn't, it doesn't mean that I don't like varieties, not new things, but happy with what I have. I can be happy with what I have. And we can think about more also. Otherwise, the greediness always comes. We are not happy with what I have. I'm not happy with this. So I want that. I want this. We are searching happiness with more. That is a nature of greediness. Otherwise, we are contented. Still, we can stretch. Still, we can expand. That's not greediness. That's thriving. Observe that using any part of the body or senses without joy weakens that part and even creates complication in it. This is, he mentioned about a story, a story where a butcher, butcher, one hand of that butcher is uh, paralysis because he is doing butcher. Every time he's killing sheep and he feels because that's not a joyful act. So what happened that master who 
taught him every day taught him to with this hand it's a wonderful process i am really happy to share because the thing he taught is you do every day in the visualization in the imagination because his hand is paralysis so imagine that he is feeding he is pouring water to flowers so doing something with joy with the same hand so he shared that it almost every day for four hours i think four hours every day almost for six months or three months and his whole paralysis gone because doing things with joy because some actions when we are doing without any joy without anything those parts of our body can be beacon this is a new wisdom for me actually when i read this i feel wow this we can shift certain weakness in our body we can shift so i see this is uh, when i did uh, yeah I, i remember there are times i see some kids because i i am a trainer for uh, students to uh, singing well in some reality shows in that time now i remember there are some uh, some participants their voice all the time break there are some issues come because they don't like it singing only because of the pressure they are there only because of something so there is no joy so every time they feel disturbance or sometimes we do certain things in this to satisfy the world not for us so what happen certain part of our body which part of the body we are using for that act those parts slowly and gradually become weakens so this process is amazing when whenever you anybody feels oh this part of me is weakening we can do that part using that part through the imagination and do something joyfully so you can experiment with that experiment is always another joyful act the ageless wisdom teaches that love and joy are particular kind of energies which has three fundamental task in the human kingdom they make life form exist create and survive they help the formation of the soul or the identity in man they create the atmosphere in which creativity in its highest meaning become possible so with the power of joy we can make our life more meaningful to our own highest possible we can reach to the highest possibility once a great master said a deep joy is felt in heaven when one of you turns towards light this is a beautiful sentence because this is the where we always encourage each other towards light towards to be a, a beacon of light the buddha's last sutra uh, apodipo bhava uh, because more once a person become connecting to the light so many place it means heaven means so many energetical areas are lighten up and this is also the power of joy these are the various appearance we can experience in ourselves or others is radiance in eyes and face sharp thinking when we are in joyful space alertness and sensitiveness actually we become more sensitive sensitiveness allowing us to be more kind and more compassionate and the vitality grow inside and we become more punctual in life health grow health also develop lovingness comes diligence comes freedom comes and cooperativeness we are ready to cooperate with anything that's an ability when we are joyful otherwise when we are in sadness we are not ready to be cooperative in life so these are also very important points how can we give greater joy to others because everybody whenever we in any sessions or in classes everybody has the thought about i don't want to hurt others i don't want to uh, because they all want to make others happy that's that's one of the quality we always want others to be happy so so what we can do rather than just being happiness we can think about joy so these are the things he shared in this book is by making them see facts so encourage them to see the fact what is the fact actually i know a lot of healers teachers they really do this 
they really help everyone to see what is the fact. So I, I, when I go through the family constellation workshops, I realize that seeing the fact rather than the story is important. What is the fact? Because the fact has the ability to heal. What exactly is that fact? So sometimes a person died or your dear ones died. Sometimes you don't want to see or accept that reality. We want to keep on uh, arguing with that reality. So I, I saw in uh, one of the workshop, I think in Pyramid Valley, Dr. Newton, he really uh, demonstrated. He bring that person and see, he's died, you see. So engaging in that grief releasing process. So it is that fact, accepting that fact, encouraging a person to show the fact. So rather than sometimes we say, no, no. Recently also I see someone they simply say, no, no, your father is not died. Uh, he's uh, now in some other place. He will come. So it's all uh, lies. In, even kids has the power to embrace the fact because they really want fact. They are looking for what is the exact fact in this life, in this life situation. And by, by giving them vision, hope, and future, joy, through the joy, we can vision how we can give joy we can give vision a vision thing a hope sometimes a ray of hope they feel so much joy comes and the possibility of future future is possibilities rather than putting it is something certain we that's why the uncertainty principles are very very interesting because it gives a lot of possibilities by teaching them how to solve their problems. This is very important. A person who solved their own problem feel joyful. Rather than when we do somebody's homework, maybe they may uh, escape from that situation, but they are not going to experience any joy. There are some uh, persons, they take other people's responsibility. In the beginning stage, even when I'm entering into the field of healing, I also do the same. I Because I want to help them, what we do is we take their responsibility. The children do, they take the responsibility of their parents. Recently also when I do a session, that child keep on, that uh, he's not a child, he's a 30 year old adult. He keep on telling me that my mother controlling me, my mother is controlling me, keep on telling this. But going deeper and deeper into that state, one thing he realized that he is unable to see his mother helpless. So the, the moment he see that mother helpless, he immediately connected to that subconscious part of him saying to the mother telepathically that, my dear mother, I am ready to sacrifice my life for you. I don't want to see you helpless. So I am ready to be helpless in this entire life for you. You can always be powerful in front of me. This is the agreement this child is giving. But what happens later life, he is hating his mother. He really hates his mother. But I feel so happy because after releasing, after understanding this, by solving his own problem, by understanding how I created, his hatred completely vanished. And by helping them to contact their inner watch means uh, their own, our own intuitive self. And by helping them to increase their creativity. Encouraging that creativity is really important because we are all creative beings. So for that, actually, I am so much grateful to this wonderful masters, Dr. Newton and Dr. Lakshmi, because till then, the first time they asked me to take the past life regression class in Kerala, I, I am always asking them uh, what to do, how, how to take this class. They are not telling anything. Creatively, it is a fun enjoy. You enjoy means they are opening a new door to us to express our creative part. That's really the power of a master, allowing to be more creative rather than holding us or put us into a box. Really, more we express our creativity because uh, in the movie, I think uh, Tare Seminpur. I watched the movie Tare Seminpur. In the last of the movie, there is a so there is a teacher 
who is very adamant, very stubborn. The moment that teacher starts drawing, that teacher sing like anything. Start singing because the creative energy is coming from within. That's the power of creative energy. That's so much joy will come when a person can express the creativity. Another thing is making them be grateful, giving and sharing. Really creating, sharing the wisdoms of gratitudes and encouraging them to be grateful. All this comes the moment we give their responsibility. What is their responsibility? Sometimes we holding somebody's responsibility, they are not getting a space to be grateful. So when we give their responsibility to them, sometimes the parents do that. They never give their, the responsibility of child to the child. What happened? Child is not feeling grateful to the parents and a lot of entanglement comes. So parents can give full responsibility of that child to them once they slowly growing up because they can intuitively know rather than feeling like, okay, they are not safe without me. Everyone is safe with their own space. We need to trust. That means more we trust someone, more we encourage and understand their own inner power, more they are encouraging with their own inner grateful giving and sharing energy. We all have such sharing energy. In this book, there is a beautiful mentioning about a child. A child, a mother is giving food to the child. And what the child is doing, child is simply sitting there. There is a dog comes, the dog starts eating the food. And mother feels angry. Why this dog is eating from my uh, son's plate or my daughter's plate? So immediately this master shared to the mother, you just watch, you just watch what is happening. So this child is simply giving the food, the dog is eating, the, the more the dog is eating, the child is jumping with so much happiness. So after sometimes the mother shared that, I never see my son or my daughter in, such joy. So rather than this food he eat or not, the joy is something very amazing. So by helping them to give joy to others. So keep on encouraging them to give others. So when I put everything together, what I realize, because I am concluding this uh, slide presentation now because meditation is important. So what I am going through this slide, Teaching meditation, encouraging meditation, keep on uh, tell to meditation. That is the thing. The moment we do meditation, we start seeing the fact. There are visions, hopes, all the things starts flowering. And we slowly and gradually understand how I can solve my own problems because Meditation is such an amazing tool. And through that tool, we are ready to learn so many tools. So many tools because that openness comes. Otherwise, a person who is not meditating, a person only learn one modality and only stuck in that modality. Not ready to open their heart to bring all the tools. At the same time, when we start doing meditation, we slowly and gradually connected to our intuitions. And the meditation always encouraging the creativity. The more we meditate, more we become grateful. The more we meditate, some giving heart opens, sharing hearts opens. And meditation is very important. So uh, I think there is, yeah, slide is over. Meditation. Okay. So next is the process of meditation, a guided meditation. There is a process when we I go through this uh, book. Actually, there is a lot of process already in the book, but I'm not sharing that process because I'm encouraging you to read and experiment because so many process in that book. But here I like to share something creatively flowing through me. I'm excited to share that creative meditation. Okay, so all are ready? Wow, good. So friends, let's, we all can meditate for another few minutes to connect to our deep joyful energy. It's a creative process. In this process, you first you simply close your eyes. Allow yourself to sit in a comfortable posture. 
those who are in driving or watching this YouTube or anything, they can do this after. Otherwise, when you have in your comfortable space, you can close your eyes. You can clasp your fingers and bruise your legs and make yourself more and more allowing and be grateful to the chair you are sitting now because the chair which is supporting you, which is really holding you, your weight. So first be grateful to the chair. You can simply say to the chair you are sitting, thank you. Thank you for giving me the space. And also you can feel thank you to all the situations around you, the environment, even whatever the sound existing, you completely tell yourself all the external voice has the ability to helping me to go deeper and deeper and deeper, deeply connecting within my consciousness. So next one minute, completely giving all the attention on your breath, deeply observing the breath. With each and every breath which is releasing from you, exhaling out, with more awareness you can smile. Every out breath is happening, you simply smile. Watching the in breath and watching the out breath, with every out breath, you simply smile. In this moment, I like you to attending the breath, feel the breath which is coming from the outside. It's slowly entering through your nostril. It's going all the way deeper and deeper and deeper. Feel like it is connecting to the core of the mother earth. From this moment, when you observe each and every breath come and all the way going long through your feet, it is going down and down and down and down, touching the mother earth and releasing through your nostril with a smile. You're not doing any breath work or deep inhalation or exhalation. You simply observing and through your observation, you are directing the breath Go deep to the core of Mother Earth and have a deeper connection to the Mother Earth. Through the Mother Earth, through the breath, you can draw all the energies of Mother Earth. And next time the breath is coming again, directing the awareness, the breath is going and going, touching your root chakra. It's in the perennial body, in between anus and genitals, and the breath is going out. And another breath which is coming, it really touch your sacral chakra, swadhisthana chakra, just above the root chakra, and it is going out by encouraging the flow of energy. The breath keep on coming and going touching every center, energetic center. Another center the breath is touching is the navel center, Manipuraka, solar plexus. And it brings more and more attention. This breath is bringing more attention to you. And again, another breath, which is touching your heart center and really open a new energy of love inside. And another breath is coming through your nostril, touch your throat area, your Vishuddhi Chakra, throat center. Allow to open the expression and the breath is releasing. Each and every energetic center, you can feel the breath is switching on and it keep on going and going higher and higher. The breath coming and touch our third eye, our vision eye. And from the third eye, our creative ability, visual ability, imagination, 
all the things it is going higher and higher touching our sahasrara crown center the breath is touching the center of the head the brahma rendra region and again it going again higher in this moment it is going higher the moment it go above 12 inch above your sahasrara you are moving to that space that plane in this moment you can simply visualize an escalator this escalator help you to going to the first floor going beyond that you reach to the first floor of your higher vibrational space i simply count from 1 to 5 this escalator reach to that place 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 feel that space it's like we are inside a mall like you can simply you can use your own creative ways you reach to that space you can take a circle and reach to the another escalator which help you to move to the second level of experience again higher and higher levels traveling again higher and higher through the escalator 1 2 3 Oh, fine. Every time you reach to that place, completely remember to smile. Whatever existing in that space, whatever the energy you are feeling, the vibration is feeling. Simply smile and going higher and higher to the third level, going higher through another escalator. One, two, three, four, five. completely smile on that space energetically be there and again take another escalator and going higher to the fourth space 1234 and keep moving again it becomes faster and faster going higher and higher through another escalator to the fifth level One, two, three, four, five. Another escalator. One, two, three, four, five. And the seventh space. One, two, three, four, five. Stay in that space. Completely be in that energetical field. In that space, you can see down deeply. Looking down, you can see an amazing ocean of time. a time is in like a pool a time is in like an ocean you can see a astral ocean in that space when you look down you can see which completely impacted all your past lives your future lives your present life everything is deeply recorded in this this ocean this pool this energetical field in this astral space when i count from 5 to 1 be that a dangerous part of you whatever you feel anybody feels any feel of oh i don't like water but in this moment you can create a new shield around you and from that space five ready to jump into this pool of time four with an intention to connect to a space where you ex- experience amazing joyful energy that particular experience three two and allow yourself to jump into this pool right now one completely enter into the pool deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper once you come out and reach to a show that show guiding you to a very significant powerful memory where you know where you experience the immense joy of your being completely allowing yourself to connecting and grounding to that space entering into that space and experience that moment of joy connect to that energy and you can deeply ask certain question what are the sensation this joy is giving you what is the deeper sensation of this energy and completely feel that sensation of joy vibration of joy experience it and keep on breathing through that joyful energy 
feel that energy, experience it, observe yourself, allowing to feel the qualities of your joyful energies. Bring all that quality of your joyful energies. Remember and recollecting all the qualities of your joyful energy, like joyful energies, regenerative quality, completely connecting in that moment through that memory, through that space, through that time, connect to the regenerative quality of joy and deeply connecting to the purification quality of joy and deeply connecting to the power to disperse the cloud quality of joy and the life conquering qualities of joy, connecting to the expansion, unfolding, burning, all that quality of joy, connect to that qualities of joy, connecting to that miraculous power of joy, deeply connecting, and allow that memory to be becoming more and more real, with more colorful, becoming more and more colorful. And keep on going through this space. You can keep feeling a part of yourself, can feel so much gratitude to that space, that energy. Once you can feel that energy in this moment, I'd like you to give a color and shape to that energy. Feel this energy is like a hologram, giving a shape and color to that energy. And with your intention, take that shape and colorful hologram in your hand and reach to that seventh level again, back to that space. Back to that space and completely absorbing all the energies of that seventh level of vibration into this joyful hologram, feel that energy. And in this moment, I'd like you to take a lift all the way from that seventh space to down and down to the first space, enter inside and lift all the way down, down and down and down, slowly and gradually down and down and down. You reach a 12 inch space above your crown chakra. You reach to that space, slowly reaching there, slowly come out from that lift. You are holding this powerful hologram of joyful energy. And once you enter inside, slowly you are part of your consciousness, entering inside through the Sahasrara, spreading this light of joy inside the Sahasrara. When you breathe in, inhale. While you exhale with a humming sound, you spread this energy into the Sahasrara area. Inhale. Mm. Keep on coming down and down and down with this hologram energy reflecting in your third eye space. Reach to that third eye space. Another breath inhale. With a humming sound, you are spreading this energy to your third eye. Mm. Down and down and down to your Vishuddhi space, throat space. Share this energy of hologram to that space by inhale and exhale with a humming sound. Mm. And down and down and down to your Anahada heart space with this hologram energy of joyful energy spreading there with humming sound. Mm. Down and down and down, completely down and down to your navel area. And spread this energy with by taking a deep breath, inhale. Mm. Down and down to your sacral space, Swadhisthana. Inhale. 
and reach to your root chakra again in here ground this joyful energy completely connected to the mother earth and slowly feel this hologram bring this hologram completely in your heart space once it completely enter in your heart space in this moment this energy is slowly guiding you to a very significant recent memory of your life you really experience joy connect to that moment you experience joy but through certain environmental conditions maybe the condition maybe it's some thought process someone will tell this is not the time to enjoy some may situation you felt a lot of joy but it is trapped inside your or it feel because of external pressure for you so in this moment i like you to connect to that memory you are you suppressed your joyful energy you suppressed your real feeling to be happy connect to that moment 3 2 and 1 tap into that memories tapping into that memories and allow that energy to slowly coming out with every exhalation you are exhaling through your mouth like a breeze inhale slowly you are disentangling that trapped energy of joy in your auric field completely you are disentangling it free it set that energy free in this moment more and more you allow to set that energy free stay there for one more minute completely observing your natural normal breath the breath which is coming breath which is going in this moment deeply giving all your attention to your joyful energy inside last 30 more seconds last 5 seconds 1 i count from 1 to 5 the count reach 5 you can slowly gradually coming back 1 every day in every way you can experience more joy in your life 2 every moment you can connect your inner joyful space 3 wish you more joy in this life 4 and 5 you can rub your palms place it on your eyes very slowly very gradually open your eyes anybody want to share what they experienced in this creative process yes gaurav yes suresh any then i'm rupesh ji and my dear friends uh, thank you for giving me opportunity to share it was a very beautiful experience and uh, it happened in december this recent last december 2022 because of personal experience i was going through a deep uh, death of my relation with my brother and father and family and there was this opportunity to meet uh, to be with them 
at my cousin's wedding because of which I couldn't uh, attend to SCTP, uh, my second uh, semester. And uh, we had a wonderful time going to the marriage and I was feeling very good. Uh, and I was feeling that as if the bridges can be constructed, there is hope for the relation to men to heal, which I always long for. And uh, then I felt at the resort where we were placed, I have a deep wound of being rejected, of being abandoned, of being not given my rightful place. And at the resort, what happened was that there were two rooms together in a small villa like apartments, which is a complete, uh, you know, resort for a, a wedding. So two rooms, one was allocated to my father and mother. The other was allocated to my brother and his family. Since I'm not married, I was placed somewhere else. I came from home taking care of my younger brother and all the work at home. Uh, at the last one to enter that resort because he needed assistance at home, which I was doing joyfully out of my love for my cousin's wedding. I'm being the eldest of the brother. When I reached there, I found that uh, my room is totally on the second floor somewhere else. And I'm not with my family. And though I was aware, it really brought out huge rage in me. And it was so deep, so painful, uh, being fully aware of what I was doing, what I was going through, while telling my mom what I am feeling that day, I really severed the cords which connect me to my father and brother. I said, I have done everything best in my capacity, but these people have no right to not even stand for me. They can't see me, what I am feeling going through. And that day, something died in me. That day, that joy bubble which I was living in suddenly collapsed. And in that moment, I realized that this is it. I disconnected from the joy and the hope of being again one with my family. They are there but they're dead. I don't know where future lies. I know the facts which you say heal because we accept them. I acknowledge them. I see what logistically must have happened. Why I was put in a separate space at the time of connecting, putting all the relatives in that place because I was alone. So I was given a separate room. But that does not matter for the perception I hold, for my own stories, for my own journeys, as I like to be loved and accepted. So I brought a beautiful seven-colored heart from a memory, which I shared with one of my friends. And I see that is who I am. That is where my journey lies. Some relations are not going to be there in my future, no matter how much I try. It's not in my scope of capability anymore. It's difficult for me to accept. And I don't know anything better. It's painful. But it's what it is. Yes. Actually, uh, Gauro, it's something very beautiful you shared about your life, that how the joyful energy is trapped. Because when we are abandoned, when we are not cared, loved, sometimes we are in so much joy, but what happened, this joy energy trapped. And this joy energy never has, never want again next chance to explore. So what we can do is, uh, when you can read that book, I definitely uh, recommend you to read so many uh, exercises where you can go back in time to retrieve all that joyful experience with your family where it is trapped. Joy is trapped or joy is completely damaged. You can again retrieve back. 
once it is retrieved back there is some ray but first there is uh, more than focusing on the ray of hope i recommend you to focus on to retrieve your joy back yes okay thank you thank you thank you yes if time permits any more anybody can share suresh time is there yes sir we have yeah okay for any questions or anything you can ask about this topic yes you can uh, raise your digital hand so that we can see you manuel uh, just i will give a few updates from jlu uh, we have many programs going on our sctp in the uh, going on uh, yeah yes okay. yeah uh, inner child is there weekends uh, e retreat program uh, april onwards is taking by dr newton dr lakshmi it's a wonderful uh, e retreat many participants had uh, transformation who attended uh, this uh, inner child program one last time telugu inner child is completed uh, many participants requested and again we have uh, inner child telugu program in coming march uh, 3rd to 7th so please uh, forward to your friends and family members who required this program Uh, it's helpful for their their lives thank you thank you and uh, also we have past life regression pro uh, uh, retreat in qli campus on june uh, we have uh, all the details in available in our website qli global org thank you thank you rupeshi thank you thank you suresh definitely i personally recommending all these programs to attend all the program because it's very interesting for inner transformation yes yeah priya ji please yeah i simply wanted to share my experience of this meditation um when you connected us to that um, uh, space uh, wherein you have a beautiful uh, joyful experience i connected to a past life wherein um i think it was in africa or something and there was so much of togetherness there and the whole community was dancing and singing and sharing with each other you know it was an immense experience actually i couldn't come out of that space <laughs> even when you took us back because it was so vibrant there something maybe which i am missing right now is the a uh, lot of sessions and everything is happening online but you know the offline connections of being together being in a space together the community sharing you know that was something which came up in this meditation and i think it's a revelation for me to look into that aspect now thank you thank you so much for this thank you wow thank you yes so dear friends i recommend all of you to read this book and enjoy all the exercise so yeah one more yes i think slowly people are coming down <laughs> that's why this <laughs> okay okay yeah so you can hear me yeah yes yes i also wanted to share when preach uh, she was sharing uh, i also had the glimpse of a past life where i was seeing a place like greece or something like that i saw myself as a kid and uh, uh 
the smell of baking was coming baking. so i could see baking baking yes and uh, uh, all the ingredients and all the cereals olives everything the oil and uh, the joy that came is, uh, out of that blending everything that was the joy i was getting when i am blending everything together the, the beauty of that blending that gave me joy and uh, i could feel the smell and uh, also this uh, joy of togetherness i could see lot of people together the whole family and i could uh, see my mother and her smell also i could feel and uh, the dancing and the ceremonies that all were coming and at the same time the next moment i i saw myself riding a horse and the wind was coming that was a joy so i understood uh, now also when i bake it gives me so much of joy and the joy is coming out of that blending however much i can blend that gives me joy different ingredients coming together and i make it a new thing the transformation mm-hmm. so uh, while uh, teaching also when i take something from some books and something from some masters workshops and i take all the ingredients together and make it my own uh, fusion and uh, do a teaching class that gives me so much of joy and also uh, rather than uh, driving a car it gives me so much of joy when i ride a scooter because the wind that comes so the glimpses were coming and the background music was the amazonian music a different glimpses from different lifetimes so uh, the the wisdom that i got is that this this when i also do makeups however beautiful i can blend colors together and uh, make it beautiful that gives me joy so that glimpse came that is where i feel so much of joy <laughs> thank you thank you sir thank you. yes so we can name it as a together meditation together is <laughs> it's nice okay, i think smita ji you write up because you are unable to unmute okay can you raise your digital hand okay yes uh, yes uh, am i audible yes hey, okay uh like uh, i was uh, i was not i i didn't have any past life or any such experience uh i was following your instruction and as you told uh, being elevated uh, physically in that state and uh, in that state of uh, beyond that seventh level uh, and then uh, i could feel like i i felt as if i'm looking at the i don't know maybe i remembered my some flight experience when i looked into the sea from above when we were just about to land and all uh, so uh, and immediately you told uh, jump into the ocean uh, get ready and then so i felt as if uh, you were connecting to my or i was able to connect to whatever you are telling and then uh, we usually uh, Uh, because i don't know swimming i am a little scared of jumping into the sea but uh, you told that um, know that you are going to be like i felt that i am going to be safe uh, i you told uh, see the bubble then i felt i thought the oxygen i need will be provided in the mm-hmm. bubble and then i took the leap into the water it was like jumping into the ocean of life maybe and then uh, went down and then going down uh, like then then about the uh, most joyful experience uh, i remembered the joyful experience uh, the most recent one and then uh, what came up was uh, all those mental uh, restrictions uh, that was preventing me from uh, enjoying it that was preventing me the fear of the society the fear about all those learnings of my past learnings from parents uh, fear of society fear of uh, being punished mm. and all such kind of things a part of me was telling you have grown beyond it it's time for you to discard it 
but then still there was a fear and i was waiting for other people's uh, cooperation and their responses that they are also not like like uh, my fear that they are also fearing like me mm. i'm not trusting that they are bold enough to experience the joy like me those who were part of it so then i um, then there was a symbol that symbol had uh, something to do with a seed with a uh, with a fetus with a baby kind of a shape it is not exactly the baby shape it was like the um, earliest stages of a baby that was the shape or form that came into my mind and hand and all and it was that shape uh, that was in my hand and that shape uh, i carried the shape with me and then that shape uh, was filled with light and uh, uh, divinity and it was and then you told come down the crown chakra pass through the chakras with that shape i was coming down and that shape was sending uh, positive energy uh, to every chakra cleansing like then i got a that ultimately mm, the seed i put in into that vision uh, when it will come out as a uh, as a when it will be birthed it is going to uh, be the cause for me to let go of any other uh, constraints which i put for my own self and then uh, i was using the joy in that fetus Uh, to cleanse all my chakras uh, and reached uh, down to the root chakra that is the only experience i had okay, wow. thank you sir anyway it was a very divine experience thank you so much okay yes yeah thank you thank you rubesh ji it's a wonderful session today uh enjoyed uh we are closing this thank you